The Rio Claro Nature Reserve is six to nine hours from Bogota, or three to four hours from Medellin. A sentence you will never hear spoken in Latin America, that bus trip was way shorter than we were told it would be, rang true as we paid 45,000 Colombian pesos each to spend nine hours on a bus from Bogota to the entrance of the reserve. Fortunately, the bus did have a bathroom and made several stops or breaks along the way. At the entrance to the reserve, you must walk for about 15 minutes to get to the cabins. Rates start at about 90,000 Colombian pesos each per night, although there is a cheaper option for camping near the entrance to the reserve. We paid 140,000 Colombian pesos each for a cabana overlooking the jungle and river. It was really cool, but at night, you'll need a flashlight to navigate the trails to your room. Be prepared to pay for your stay in cash. We were very fortunate that they allowed us to pay for our two nights on a credit card. Included in the cost of your room is three meals per day, but you must pay for all drinks separately. There is plenty to keep you busy at Rio Claro. We paid 20,000 Colombian pesos each for a two and a half hour cave tour. And this was one of the most fun things we did in Colombia. We hiked to a cave, then walked and swam for 500 meters through the cave, exiting at the river. We saw a few cool birds in the cave and heard and saw a lot of bats. You can also pay for a rafting tour or go ziplining over the river. There are plenty of places to swim, relax on the shore, jump off rocks or platforms into the water, or go hiking. We rented tubes for 8,000 Colombian pesos each and had a great time spending several hours rafting down the river. The Rio Claro Nature Reserve is not easy to get to, but definitely worth a visit. <laughs>